it was a very slow day and we'd had a call somewhere downtown Los Angeles and we were getting ready to come in anyway. So Bill Kiley was a reporter and I was a photographer. I said, oh, let's go on down to the mirror and get ready to fold up. So we drove down and the mirror had the editorial room was right above 2nd and Spring Street. And you could look out on the window and look right down on 2nd and Spring Street. So I said, pull up. Down. And in those days, there wasn't that much traffic, particularly on Saturday. So we pull up there just east of the of the signal there on 2nd, on, on Spring Street, just just a little bit northeast of, of 2nd Street. What are you going to do? And I says, when I tell you to, I says, I want you to open your door and just kind of lean out. And I says, I opened up the hood, and I opened up the hood, and then I got out with a newspaper and laid down in front of the car. And I said, now when I tell you to, call the city desk and tell them there's a code 20. That was a secret code for newspaper people for, new, for photography. In other words, it was possible press photos. So he gets on the phone, and he, I'm looking. I can see up, and I see him up at the thing. They didn't even recognize him. So he calls it, hey, there's a code 20. You just heard there's a code 20 at 2nd and Spring. So that we see him come over, and they look out the window, and they see me lying on the, on the floor of their ground. And the hood's up, and Kylie is laying out of the car like this. And we see him leave. The, the minute we see him leave the window, we jump up real quick, get back in the car, and take off. <laughs> They're calling us on the on the thing, telling us, hey, we got a code 20 at 2nd and Spring. Get down there. Well, we were out here in Hollywood. Call the Times. They call the Times. They get down there. Naturally, there's nobody there. And, oh, God, did we catch it for that. <laughs> but that's the way the newspaper business won. You had a lot of fun. They'd yell at you. But, you know, as long as it was a good joke and nobody got hurt, that was that one. Another time there was a guy, Gene Hackley, who was kind of a healthy guy. And he lived out in Arcadia. So they said, we went down, George Lax and I was another photographer, we went down, and we didn't just jack up his car, we jacked up his car and put it on blocks, so the wheels were just barely off the ground. And then we had the guy called in from the city room on a squelch box that we had into the photo lab and say, there's a fire at Santa Anita, send somebody out there. And he said, okay, we're going to send Bob Martin. And then he said, no, we're not going to send Bob Martin. Uh, Gene Hackley, he lives out there, we'll send him, you know, making it really good. So old Hackley, he gets his camera in his case, and he goes down the elevator. He walks down 2nd Street to Broadway and comes up, goes to the parking lot. He puts it like nothing was happening. You know, he puts his car, his, his uh, camera in the back, and the whole city room runs up to the fifth floor, which looks right over the parking lot. The whole city room is up there. And we all get up there. And the minute he rounded the corner, I started laughing. And I, I couldn't even see them because the tears were coming down my face. And he walks over to his car, and I can remember him getting in the car, and putting his stuff away, and you see the wheels back like he was backing up. Not that. Then you see the wheels go forward. Then the wheels go backward. And finally he gets out of the car, and he goes back, and he kicks the tire. And that lost it when he, when he kicked the tire. See? So it, while he's doing that, and then pretty soon we open up all the windows up there. Hey, Hackley, why aren't you going to the fire? Get your ass out there. You know, and everybody's laughing and saying, but the kicker on the thing was we came back to the, I came back and we went home that night. And the next day I come up and that darn uh, George Lax had come down and with a long lens made a picture of us putting, jacking his car up. And they put it up on the bulletin board and right next to the bulletin board, which we didn't know was that Gene Hackling on his way between the city room and the parking lot ran into the head guy at KTTV and said, hey, there's a big fire at Santa Anita. And the Times sent a crew out. KTTV sent a crew all the way out to Santa Anita. So right next to this picture of us jacking his car up, <laughs> there's a note from the, the, from the publisher of the paper that says, there'll be no more practical jokes pulled in the city, in the city room. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> That, that was just that, that stuff we did all the time. We'd take a newspaper and completely cover up a guy's car with newspapers. Or they put one of those whistle bombs inside, you know, when you hit it, whoosh, boom, and the smoke would come out. One, there used to be you had old flash bulbs that you carried in your camera case. So it, you, there was this composing room between the, the mirror and the times. That's where they set up the type by teletype, the late, whatever they called it. And they had the big hunks of lead that would melt and turn it into type. So we go over there, and we get about, oh, maybe a half a pound of lead, and we'd put it in this one guy's camera case. And every day we'd put some more lead into it. And he's carrying around, 
he's he's carrying around an extra 20 25 pounds of lead in his camera case and, the, and then the one guy bought a new brand new car and he was telling us what good mileage it was so we go out and we'd buy a, a five gallons of gasoline every time he'd come in would fill his tank up with gasoline and he said oh god he said i can't believe this i'm getting almost 50 miles to a gallon he'd keep doing no kidding yeah he keep getting and then all of a sudden we quit you know and all of a sudden his gas went no, he got nothing you know and then he came and then we give him the big ha ha but it was it was just you can't imagine how much fun it was working on a newspaper then 